It's a thing. It's in. First of all, so why don't you tell us what It's a Boy, Girl Thing is about? It's a Boy, thing, Girl Thing is about... Um, it's a Boy, Girl Thing is about a um, young guy and a young girl who have basically grown up together and uh, do not get along. Their families don't get along. They kind of have opposite views of the world. Woody's a football player and Nell is a studious little girl and um, kind of as they grow, they kind of grow even more uh, bitter towards each other and basically one day they're arguing at school and um, something happens and they basically end up waking up in each other's bodies which uh, but it's not your standard body switch movie I think it's more of a and what we've kind of discovered while shooting is it's much more of a romantic comedy than it is anything it's uh, about two people after getting to see what the other person um, is situation is like it, it, uh, it becomes a lot easier to fall in love with that person see what they have to deal with and it's basically about two people falling in love so tell us when we meet Woody what he's all about and you know sort of give us a sense of who he is he's the popular guy but not in the kind of cliched way he's kind of um, not as much aware of it as he probably as you would think he's Woody kind of just he doesn't spend a lot of time in front of the mirror. Woody just kind of is Woody, and he's a football player. He's a great football player, and he's uh, he's like a charming guy around the ladies, and, and people like him, and he's just kind of a you know, guy's guy. The, he's the cool guy in high school who just doesn't know it, and we kind of decided to not play him as the token jock guy because then it's just not, he's not redeemable. Or, and I think the reason the audience learns to like him and like him and Nell together is because they both have annoying qualities but qualities that are redeemable so. Now Ben tell us sort of the, what happens when the body swap happens and how Woody changes. Um, well basically uh, once Nell is inside Woody he's basically um, which is what I've been doing for most of the movie most of the movie is, is Woody as Nell so um, He's uh, a lot more put together, and his hair's combed, and he wears very neat clothes, and um, he's very focused on school, and uh, basically once he, him and, and Nell are on the same side about helping each other out to, to get through the next little while of these important days of their lives, which he's got to play in this big football game, and she has uh, an interview at Yale, um, they basically are on, the, on, on a team together, and and Woody becomes very focused on learning how to play football as Nell because he's never, uh, Nell's obviously never played football so uh, it all sounds very confusing but it's not, it's just basically two people that um, so Woody just becomes basically Nell inside Woody's body so he's uh, a very uptight person. So was that the challenge for you when you looked at this was how, how am I going to play you know, Nell as Woody? Yeah, I mean that's not the only reason I did it, but pretty much. I mean, it's it's been always been an interesting idea to me to not, because uh, it's easy to believe somebody who, let's say, is in drag is a guy because you can see the guy inside of the girl. But I think that the interesting thing for me was people are still going to see me, and they're still going to see uh, my looks aren't going to change that dramatically, other than maybe a, a little different dress. But uh, I had to focus a lot more on mannerisms and speech patterns. And, all kinds of little things that you don't really notice about women, especially that uh, I started to look at and and became very interested. And it's and it's very uh, not over the top because I think that we kind of embarked upon this as not making it sticky and weird and big because then it just becomes a little silly. And I, I think that we we all kind of realize that it's a sweeter story than that. And and I think Samir and I are are I don't want to sounds obnoxious but I think we're, we both know that we're talented enough to not have to do to play the gags as I'm the girl now and like bouncing around like an idiot because then you're just spoon feeding the audience what they should already get if you can subtly kind of show them these little intricacies about Nell and also I the, the main thing that I've been focusing on is there's a there's a fine balance between me playing Nell and me going over the top and it seeming I don't want to say gay but gay you know it's 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 a very fine balance and I think that uh, it's been interesting but I think that I've 
I've now kind of found what works and what doesn't, and uh, Nick's been great with, with letting me know um, what's working and what isn't, and, and Samir and I are hanging out a bunch, and, and I can kind of watch her, because I don't also want to be playing just a girl, because I, if I'm playing a generic girl, it doesn't really work as well as if I'm playing Nell or Samir, because Samir has very specific, um, a very specific way she speaks and a specific way she walks, and so that's the that's the focus. And it's very hard. I've been I've mostly done drama throughout my life, but uh, this is very, very, very difficult. But it's very rewarding, and uh, you definitely can't just show up and you know have a good time. It's not. It's 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 very hard work, and I di I didn't really expect that when I when I uh, came here. So. I was gonna say it must be. I'm not saying you're not focused when you normally act, but uh -huh. it's a whole different focus, I guess. Well, when you're doing a drama, what I find is I do most of my work before, and then once I start, it's just whatever. You know, I am that. I can go on set and be Dave or Steve or whoever, whether he's shy or aggressive or whatever the character is, um, or a psychopath. You can you can play that. Um, throughout the movie and then but with with comedy you have to make each scene a funny you have to be be realistic because if it's too sticky people don't like it then you just look like an idiot and uh, and and go, going too over the top is also not what I was going for and not what I think that Nick wants for this movie and um, I'm glad because I think it, it all, everything that I've seen so far is much sweeter and much more um, when Harry met Sally than it is American Pie, uh, which I think is good, and I think there's enough of those kind of gag movies that uh, there's enough talent combined here to, to make this a better movie than that, and I think that um, we don't want to really settle with that, so that's what we're looking for. You know, when I saw the real